Hi, this is Nissim. Today we're going to do a full installation of Comfy UI, but we're going to do it, to do it uh, in a more professional way. Uh, yes, we're going to install the basics, for download it, install it and everything, but after that I'm going to do some more tweaks that will show you how to prepare it for future versions, how to upgrade it when you have a new version, and uh, how to uh, make sure that all your model will be kept in one place so you won't have multiple uh, uh, model when you have multiple version of Comfy. Sometimes you need more than one Comfy because you just downgrade, something happened in the newer version and you had a, a problem. So let's get started. First of all, this is my version of Comfy, or the, the current one. I am on version uh, 037, as you can see here. And my, my, the Python version of that version of Confi is 3.12.7. Okay, now I have everything here uh, installed, the manager and everything, but we're going to do it from scratch. So I will close that, that window and let's download Confi. So, first of all, we need to get Confi. <clears throat> How do we do that? We, uh, you, you can go to Google and just uh, write Confi UI and go to the GitHub uh, page. It's the first one or the second one and just download the, the Confi. What, what do you need to download? So when you go to the, to the Confi, uh, to the GitHub page, you're going to scroll down to releases. Now in releases, you can see the last release was uh, three days ago. You click on it and you can download the latest release. Good. Now, for this uh, de uh, demonstration, I download the a previous version, 0.3.5, and I'm going to install that, and then we're going to upgrade it. So you will, you will see how do we do the upgrade for that version. Good. So the thing that, that you need to uh, download, first of all, you're going to, to the version. Let's say that you are in, a, in a, that version. Oh. You can go to uh, to version uh, 037, which is the, the latest, the current latest one. Scroll down and you will see th those files. You will need to download that uh, 7z um, compressed file. So you click on it, it's 1.5 gigabytes, it will take you a couple of minutes to download it. So click on it. Second, we need to, to download the program which actually unzip that uh, file. As you can see here, I already uh, downloaded, downloaded that file. Now, to unpack it, if you don't have a, a software that can unpack that one, you will go again to, to Google and type WinRAR. Okay, WinRAR is a super simple a software. You click on, a, on a download, you don't need to buy it. It will install it on the on your Windows and will install some more goodies that will help you to unpack multiple uh, type of files, not only RAR but also ZIP, 7Z, and others. So uh, after you downloaded the the WinRAR, you you will uh, uh, double click on it, install it, just do next next next, and and that's it, and you will have it in in your Windows. You, you can see here, I'm going back to now to the place that I download the, the Confi UI. You can see here, you have the download and tutorial. This is the place that I'm working at for now. And uh, I have here the, the, the version that I downloaded of uh, Confi. This is 0, uh, 0, 0.3.5. I have here another one, which is 0, 0.3.7. I will, as I said, we will in, uh, use the 0, 0.3.5. So we can do an uh, upgrade of the config and you will see it in action. Now, uh, to unpack it, you, you, you will right click and now you have the WinRAR after the installation that will allow you to unpack everything you, you need. Just uh, choose e e extract here. Okay, this is the place, this is the thing that, that you need. If you will uh, click on the extract to this uh, folder, it will, you have a folder inside the folder. Okay, because the, um, uh, the Confi UI, if I will uh, click on it, right, uh, space on it, you will have a folder ins inside that package. 
Now, the thing that, I, that you see here, it's called Quick uh, Look. It's a software that, that you can uh, download for Windows. It exists in Mac uh, as, a, as a part of the operation system, but for Windows, you have a guy that built it, which is great. It just gives you a quick view of text file and everything you need. Okay, so we unpack it, and I will go into it to give it a name. Let's give it a name, Confi, Confi uh, New. When you go inside it, you will have a, a multiple uh, a command to, uh, to use. You can, uh, if you have NVIDIA GPU, you need to use run NVIDIA GPU. We are now running, and here Confi. Now we have the default, uh, the default layout of Confi. Now, as you see, this uh, file that just run, you will see that the uh, config that the server is starting. Now, right now in your config, you have nothing. You have on only the basic uh, the basic layout. If I will try to to run something, I will get error that I don't have any model. I have nothing to, uh, to run with, and I have the 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 queue here that will uh, that I can run. Uh, I can run the the current uh, rendering. Now, I just want to point that usually this button exists here on the bottom. I personally love to have it here on the top. It's easier for me to work with. Now, um, I'm going to go to this part of the config, to the terminal, which is the place that's running the config, and I'm going to close it because we need to install something. We need now to install the manager node, which will help us and responsible to manage config better. So I will uh, control C and terminate the, the server. Now, sometimes you, you see now the uh, reconnecting. It means that the config tried to reconnect to, to the server. So it will automatically connect it when that server will be up. The problem is that sometimes when you close config, that one won't be there. It means that the config is still running, although you close it. If it happened, you need to do control shift escape. And, and you and you will open the the task manager. You you can search Python. And if you will see here Python, you will you will uh, right click it and end the task. This is when the when something is uh, went wrong and the config did not uh, closed. Okay. Now we need to install the manager. What is the manager? Just go to, uh, to Google and, and uh, write Confi Manager and go to Confi Manager. Okay, now this manager is a, is a tool that exists inside Confi and gives you access to multiple uh, easier way to install model, nodes, upgrade, update the Confi, etc. So to, uh, to install it, we need, we need first to copy the URL that, that you see here and go to, to, to the Confi. Now, in the Confi itself, we need to go to Confi UI inside the folder and uh, go to a uh, custom nodes here. Okay, and now we need to install it here. How do we do that? We, we click on the URL on, the on this area on the top and type PowerShell. Okay, PowerShell is the alternative and better than the command, the normal command line of uh, Windows. Why we need that? Because it gives you much more control and you get a very nice history. On the config manager, you can scroll down and you will have the installation. You can copy, you see that it's a, a right to go to the config UI custom node, as we said. So you can just copy that command, git clone and the current uh, repository of the manager, control C or, or right click and copy. You, you will go to the, to the terminal of the confi, the place that, that we need to uh, paste the command, we are inside the custom nodes, paste it and enter. Now we uh, downloaded the 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 confi the confi uh, manager. How do we know if we uh, download it? We can go to the to the location of it. And now we will see here a new folder, confi UI manager. Okay. Now we, we just need to uh, run again the 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 confi itself. 
So we're going to go to Confi UI New. And again, we double click on Run NVIDIA GPU. The, fir the first thing that will happen, the Confi Manager will install all the Python uh, packages and, and uh, things that you need to, uh, to run. So it, will, it can take a couple of seconds. Okay, good. Now the, the Confi is up with the manager. You can see here a new button of the, of the manager. I will uh, guide you quickly about it. First of all, is the manager button. When you click on it, you will see the manager with all its glory and the functionality. Right now, if I will try to run to render something, I still get an error. There is no, there is nothing to work with. Now we want to install our first model. How do we do that? We're clicking on the manager, going to model manager, and I will type here sd underscore excel. Now I will download a, a small model, 7 gigabyte. Okay, which will give me a very good result. I will take this one. So let's click on it. Now this can have this can uh, take a little while, so I will speed it up. Now the model uh, completes the download. You can see here you have a refresh uh, required. Okay, the refresh uh, required means that we, we don't need to restart Confi. We just need to refresh the the models, so it will be visible for, for the Confi UI. But before that, I just want to note you something. Uh, the models here, name, are not easy to find. Sometimes you want to find a different, like a SD 1.5 and not the, the, the Excel. So to find the 1.5, you will need to search 1-5 and not 0.5. And you can see here the 1.5 uh, model, the basic 1.5 model. You can again do install. It's a little... It's smaller, it's uh, two and a half gigabyte less than the XL. I prefer the XL because it's more accurate and the results are better. You also have here uh, other, you have here thousands of models. So we don't, we will do close and close. Now we don't see the, the, the model here yet because we didn't refresh. How do we refresh? We're going to go to edit, refresh node definitions. And you see th that message, now it's refreshed. Now let's select it. We clicked on the on the list and now we have only one model. Okay, select it and let's queue it. The model now will load will load to, to the memory of the video card and we'll take the default uh, prompt. And you have also a, a other videos of of mine that will explain each value here in details, really deep details, and you so you will know exactly what it means, what each one, why we need each one, etc. It's very detailed video. We have like a playlist of around ten videos on each one. Now, after we, we click we click on it, you can see here now the the, uh, the result of the of the image. Um, each model will give you a different result. Okay, even if uh, all of them are get out from the same model, you can get it, you will get a different result. There is, uh, as you remember, we installed Confi. When you go to the settings and we will do about, you, you can see that our Confi version is 0.35. But the current version, that uh, while I, I recorded it, it's 0.37. And I want to upgrade Confi. How do I do that? I'm going to go to the manager. And I am going to do update config. The config note, the manager's uh, note, config UI has been successfully updated. Close, but now we need to restart it. So let's restart. As you see, the reconnecting uh, turn on, it means that the server is down. And now the server is up. Okay, now let's go to the settings and go to the about. Now you see we are in Confi 0.7, uh, 0.3.7. This is how you actually upgrade Confi, and when you upgrade it, and when the upgrade is done correctly. There are times when you do the update and things are messed up, and I will talk about it in the next videos. But um, right now, if everything is uh, smooth and clear, and when you click on the on this on the on that panel, and you you can see that there are no errors. So everything is, is okay.
Okay, that was the basic installation of Confi. The next part is to take it to the next level, more professional level. So we will have a place that all our model will be will be stored and not inside the, the Confi itself. So I will see you in the next video, uh, which is part two of the installation, professional installation of Confi. Stay tuned and subscribe and help me to spread the word. Bye.